guys welcome to the weekend reading vlog so allison is currently at work it's friday and i'm not on call today i'm on call this weekend though <laughs> so right now i am currently listening to the turn of the key by ruth ware i'm about 50 percent through that i'm really liking it i'll probably finish it up today i have a lot of errands to run and things to do around the house so i'll have a lot of time to listen and i am physically reading wink poppy midnight which is on my tbr for this month i don't know how i feel about it yet it seems kind of weird especially opening it seemed kind of weird i really didn't like the beginning of it it like opened on a sex scene or like post sex scene with some just really weird descriptions that i was not a fan of but it seems like it might be getting better. It's kind of like a mystery type deal. I'll see how I like it. I'm not sure where this one is going. Okay, so I haven't updated since this morning. Um, I got distracted. But I finished Turn of the Key. And I ended up rating it 4 out of 5 stars. I won't go into spoilers because my girlfriend is on bed and she hasn't read it. Do you want me to leave? <laughs> also, hello, I'm home from work. Am I even in the shot? This is a horrible yes. angle. Hello, I'm home from work now. I'm going to go get some food. So I can talk spoilers now. So I finished the book. I did overall really like it. I really liked Ruth Ware's writing style. I liked her like pacing. I liked all her like anticipation and build up. I had a couple issues with the book. I know these kids are meant to be annoying. Like I know you're meant to be annoyed with them. But at some points I was so annoyed with these children that it really took me out of the book. And I was just annoyed flat out not really for our main character I was just annoyed <laughs> one thing I did really like was I really liked the main character she was very flawed she had like some anger issues and like made some bad decisions but I did really like her I thought she was written very convincingly so my main problem the reason that I really knocked it down to four stars was the ending I didn't really mind where it went I just felt like it just there wasn't much resolution, I guess, which I know with thrillers you rarely get like an actual like concrete resolution, but it just felt so strange to not have any idea what happened to Rowan. So we get up until she finishes her letter that she's writing to the solicitor dude, and we get that letter that Ellie wrote her that kind of resolves the plot, which... I didn't really love because like Rowan hinted that she kind of knew what was going on and I would have liked to hear it from her perspective I guess like I liked hearing it from Ellie but I would have liked to close on Rowan's perspective and I would have liked to know what was going on with Rowan I guess one thing I guess it was kind of minor but I was really annoyed with where the whole Jack storyline went like I get building up kind of like a red herring person and that's fine i didn't have a problem with that part but like him randomly having a wife it just felt really unnecessary and like not important to the plot at all and it didn't even make sense because jack wasn't acting shady like there was no reason to explain why he was being cryptic about something or anything because he wasn't the only thing that she was questioning was like him knowing where certain things were and why he had removed the string from the gate. Like there was nothing to explain. There was no reason to explain any strange behavior. So him having a wife just seemed really strange. But overall, I did really, really like this book. I will be definitely picking up more Ruth Ware books. We actually have In a Dark Dark Wood already. Um, and I will probably be picking that up soon because I did really like this book and I want to read more. So after I finished that, I ended up picking up this book and reading for a while. I'm on page 89. So I read about 40 more pages. I have no idea where this book is going really and not really in a good way <laughs> like there's no plot yet like at all i don't hate it the writing's very lyrical and it's very atmospheric it's not bad 
like right now if I had to stop and rate this book I'd rate it three stars but there's just not a whole lot of plot to it okay so we just had dinner <laughs> I've done no reading since my last update but we are going to go look at a house yes we're both really excited it looks really promising and it's within our price range and it's three bedrooms which is exactly what we wanted we'll see we're going in like 10 minutes <laughs> yeah so. so we'll see how it goes might put in an offer tonight hopefully we'll see yeah all right and then we will read so first, before this update, there's a woman absolutely ripping apart a piece of furniture. She's like fucking decimating it. <laughs> like that SpongeBob beep where it's like, I will dismantle this establishment board by board. That's what she's doing to this piece of furniture. She's literally tearing it apart. It was like maybe like part of an entertainment center or something. It looks, it looks like, like, okay, it looks like that piece of furniture in the tiny living update that's like the <laughs> tiny bookshelf. That's exactly what it looked like. It had the For door. For the Sims. Yeah. The door and everything. Yeah, it was really fucking cute. And she just ripped it apart. Yeah. we so stood. I stood there for like a minute screaming like, no, stop. I'll take it. Stop. Reading update. Anyway, yeah. So I'm home from work. I worked until the late. I'm done working now. So now it's weekend time. And besides looking at this house, I have no plans except for maybe swimming tomorrow. Because I want to go swimming. I have not read anything. <laughs> I downloaded the audiobook for Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier to my phone. And then meant to listen to it today. And then did it. <laughs> because I spent all day talking to my coworkers. <laughs> so, I've done no reading. Uh, I started reading an absolutely remarkable thing earlier this week but I'm only like 14% of the way through it. I was listening to it on audio while I was doing stuff. Decided I actually want to read it. So I'm probably gonna read that tonight. I think that's my priority read for the weekend. Flame in the Mist, I really don't wanna read as bad as that <laughs> sounds. I don't really wanna read it, but like I wanna read it so I can get it off of the shelf. Also, I found out there was a sequel today. I had no idea there was a sequel. Oh. Which, like, is making me less likely to read it. Because, like, I'm not going to like this first book. So why would I continue? For backstory, I've read almost everything Renee Audier has published. I don't like it. Like, it's not that it's bad. Because it's not bad. I just... It's not my thing. I just don't get it. I don't care for it. So I'm giving this one a chance because we have it on our question mark shelf and this is supposed to be like a Mulan retelling or Mulan inspired story which is really cool. It's cute. There's like a little mudroom thing. This. It's very echoey. This is actually bigger than I thought it was. Okay, good morning. It is 10.37. I've been awake for a few hours. My body decided that we would be awake at 8 a.m. today, even though it's Saturday, and I have nothing to do and nowhere to go. So I've been awake. I've been looking at places for us to live, which is not fun, if you don't know. Tori and I currently live in a 600 square foot one bedroom apartment with three rabbits. <laughs> we don't have a lot of space for anything. So we're looking to move to at least a two bedroom, maybe a three bedroom if we can find it, but we don't know. We'll have to look and see. It's fine. I haven't done any reading. We went looking at a house yesterday that we really liked, but the yard is gonna be way too much work, so. I'm sitting at my desk now. I'm on coffee, coffee? I'm on coffee number like two of the day. Um, the rabbits are sleeping. We have a sleepy Juby and sleepy Astro and sleepy Lyra. And I'm watching book two. So yeah, um, I need to actually be editing last weekend's vlog. So I think I'm gonna actually switch over to that after I finish this video. Um, I'm just really tired. 
I'm tired of looking at apartments and I'm also tired as if like I want to go back to bed. So we'll see. I'm also really hungry, so maybe I'll go make some food first. I don't know. Corey is technically on call at five, but we are gonna go to my parents' house today. They have a pool. So we're gonna go swim in the pool. <laughs> I'm maybe gonna play that new Animal Crossing update because I haven't done that yet. So I think I'm gonna take an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green because I really want to read that and the sequel comes out in like three days at this point. This is why I love my beautiful girlfriend because we're gonna split a pizza and pasta thing. The breakfast of champions. We got our pasta. We got our pizza, because we couldn't decide what we were going to have for lunch. We've got some Criminal Minds, so we're going to watch this and eat our lunch, and then probably get ready to go. Okay, so I finished editing the vlog from last weekend, and then now we are going to go to my parents' house, because they have a pool, and it's hot. Okay, so we just got home. It's like, yeah, it's 10.30. 10.30. Two to be exact. Three? Yeah. Oh, it changed on me. <laughs> so we stayed a while, but I got a lot of reading done actually. I'm now on page 174 of Wink Poppy Midnight. Right now it's like a solid three, 3.5. It's not bad. I really like the writing. I'd be interested in some of her other books. I know she has a few more. I don't know yet. <laughs> I did also break the news to Tori. We were talking at my mom's house today. So this book is blurbed by Kendar Blake, who I was pretty sure wrote Three Dark Crowns, which I know is a book that Tori was really excited to read. Yeah. And yeah, Kendar Blake wrote Three Dark Crowns. What else did they write that you didn't like? Anna Dressed in Blood. I read that a really long time ago and I really, really didn't like it. So now I'm significantly less excited for Three Dark Crowns. I know the hype was like two years ago, but I'm here now. Yeah. I didn't read anything. I did great. I did finally play Animal Crossing for the first time in like three days though. The new diving update is out and I swam and I'm pretty sure I'm sunburned. So Tori's gonna try to finish this book. Maybe I'll actually try to read something. <laughs> so it is um, 11.30 at night. <laughs> And someone has decided that it is time for cream corn. <laughs> Don't be a hater. It's so hot. <laughs> Our air conditioner is broken. Mm -hmm. So someone is coming to look at it. And by someone, I, we mean my dad. Yeah. Because our maintenance people are awful. Basically. We haven't done anything because it's too hot to launch in. We cleaned. Yeah. The apartment's clean. Mostly. I've been listening to Tombstone by Tom Clayton. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Are you gonna finish it? I am gonna finish it. I'm like 60% of the way through. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a rat that who wants pets. I've read nothing. <laughs> I haven't read anything since Tuesday. <laughs> I've read nada. I'll read tonight. Back to the very important rabbit content here. Lyra wants pets. I've just been informed that Tori is a dirty rotten liar. I'm actually 33% of the way through. I forgot that it kept playing after I fell asleep last night and I had to set it back. Are you gonna finish it? I'm gonna finish it. I'm also gonna restart Shudder. I didn't like it when I was reading it. I got like 50 pages in and I, I just didn't like it, but I can't DNF it because it wasn't bad enough to DNF. Very important graphic content. Very important rabbit content too. Jupiter eating a pine cone. And a grumpy little boy named Astro. Astro rabbit. He's laying on the tile, which keeps him cold. He's been running all day, why? Why will you not be cold, please? Okay, hello. I just got off the phone with my mom. My brother has a, like, window AC unit. He's going to let me borrow it. So my parents are going to bring that to me. What we're going to do is I'm going to take my desk. I'm going to clear all that off and move the rabbit cage back a little bit like so it cuts over 
instead of in to where the desk is. We're gonna move the desk and the chair out and we're gonna use, this is actually two windows. So we're gonna use this window for the AC unit because there's a plug right there. And then we're gonna move the mattress. Yeah. We're gonna move our mattress in here. And we're gonna put that in here on the floor and we're just gonna shut this door and leave this off until they come and figure out what the fuck is wrong with it. So, I don't know how long that's gonna be. They said they're gonna get stuff together and then they'll be on their way. So, for now, I'm gonna go back to taking care of the, some toasty rabbits. They have their own fan, which Jupiter is absolutely loving. Loves her fan. Yes, she does. I feel really bad because I know that the rabbits are hot. And like, I've been trying my best. I gave them a dish of frozen fruit earlier and I've been giving them ice to put in their water. They have these big ceramic tiles. There's three there and there's three there. And I've been putting those and cooling them down for the rabbits and they've been enjoying them when they're cold, but right now it's just so hot. I don't think I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna go buy dinner because um, it's hot and I don't wanna use the oven. Probably listen to something. I don't know what. I will update you when I start reading. If I start reading, I'm just very hot and grouchy because it is 85 degrees in my apartment and it's fine. Okay, update. I wanted something that was like happy and light instead i'm reading stay sexy and don't get murdered so you know it's fine it's fine sometimes sometimes we do these things sometimes we do these things and instead of reading a book that will bring us joy we read true crime podcasters turned novel writers and it's fine and sometimes you're waiting on your girlfriend to bring you a milkshake when she gets back from work while you're reading your book by true crime podcasters turned novelists. And sometimes that's okay. My favorite human in the whole wide world is home from work. Yes, and back. It was another bad day at work. I'm home. I have a milkshake. Everything's fine. We have to drag our mattress into the living room. I've been listening to Tombstone. But you still hate? Yeah, I still don't like it. But it's whatever. I, you know how I said I wanted to read a happy book? So I'm reading Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. Very happy book indeed. I'm on page 43. So clearly, a great deal of progress has been made. I've read more than I think, <laughs> I suppose. I certainly won't finish this tonight because I'm exhausted. We were gonna watch some Criminal Minds and drag the mattress in the bedroom and cry. Uh, from the bedroom? Fuck. Whatever the fuck. Fuck. We're gonna bring the mattress in here because this is where the air conditioning is. Fuck! Ooh.